hi everyone and welcome back and in this video or in this series first we are going to talk about core syntax that is the the first module and in the last video i talked about the reactivity and the virtual dom that uh, how uh, swell js is good enough without even using virtual dom so with that i wanted to cover first uh, one simple example which talks about reactivity uh, in swell js okay So I wanted to write a simple code. Okay, let's say I have one simple variable, let array which is having a simple element zero inside it, and then I have a two different functions and two different buttons. Push to array. This is a one JavaScript function. What it is doing is simple. I do have array, so array dot push. I just to insert the length of this same array and then i have another function which is function assign to array this example talks about the reactivity how we are how swell js is reactive and how it is updating the ui with the new value so here what we will do is we will assign this there we were doing just array dot push so this is my existing array and array dot length so you might understood what we are doing we are doing it in the the same thing but here we are not assigning here we are assigning things and then we have these two different buttons so i will just copy these buttons on click push to an array and assign to an array these are the two buttons now we will uh, and we can also print the value of these array onto the ui so we can just stringify the array and show it and what is the value is array okay now let's try to understand what i'm trying to explain here so this is simple array first is pushing the elements to the array not assigning here we are assigning the element to the array so if you try to see the output of this one here when i do push nothing is happening when i do assign immediately it got all the values so from the first button the value was getting updated but value was getting updated in the memory but not getting reflected because we were not assigning the element if i refresh this and try it again assign to the element it is updating every time but when i do push to array nothing is happening but it is updating the memory value and then when i do this you can see the whole string why that is happening for that we need to look into how it is getting compiled how the reactive code is getting generated from this so we will just need to see the array where it is yeah and here this is important part the highlighted part is very important when you do the push to array it we are not doing assignments that's why it is not invalidating the value but here when you do the assign to the array it is invalidating the value right so that is the the major difference here until unless you don't assign swell will not know that you that it has to invalidate that element which is being shown on the ui and re-render or recalculate the value for the dom node right when i if i want to fix this i can just simply can do is i can just assign the element after this like array equal to array and we can see now it is working right now we see the compiled code again in the bundle and we can see the invalidate is happening at both the places for this array object 
this is the reactivity and re, uh, the svelte is using these global variables with the dollar dollar slot dollar dollar dirty dollar dollar invalidate so i mean uh, there are many explanation for that if we try to understand how it really works so i can talk about that like what is this invalidate method is okay so what this invalidate method is doing it is updating the context with the new value and it is adding it and dirty dot add so it will schedule the update for the component and the new value it will update for the component so there is no virtual dom to render the new value to that particular dom node it was the old value and you got the new value so you will update the context and just trigger that dirty add and schedule the update so this is like a swelt compiler what all these things actually do the dirty invalidate and schedule update and what is the context if we talk about uh, how actually this swelt compiler really works then we have to understand dollar dirty dollar dollar invalidate and uh, dollar dollar context and dollar dollar slots these all these things we will talk about it but these all these execution context invalidating the value after updating a variable this makes it reactive okay this dollar invalidate function is important and this is how the dollar invalidate really works and similarly we have dirty we have dollar context all these variables are there so this is just a simple example okay how really things are when we talk about i'm saying is it's not using virtual dom then how actually the updates are happening so we have to read the compiler understand these variables and see okay this is how actually things are happening while it is updating the dom okay now uh, this was just a simple example and we can also understand the syntax through this example this is like we are inside a core syntax uh, module so this is how we write the dom events and when it comes to passing the data from the parent component this is how we are passing and this we are passing as a props so that the child component can receive it and to receive it you just need to export this export let and what was the variable name you just need to declare that name this is just a basic simple syntax this is how it works and now you can use these variables just by interpolating so you can just put a single quotes and swelt js is happy to render this name this is coming from the props okay so this is how you pass the data from one component to another component okay uh, let's continue this module we are going to explore a lot of new things so stay tuned and let's connect in the next video